He spent 40 years running from the law, trying to hide from a murder charge in Hillsborough County. After he was finally caught in California, he started writing letters to News Channel 8. Donald Santini is charged with the 1984 murder of Cynthia Wood. He was extradited from San Diego, California early this morning. Before he left California, he wrote two letters to News Channel 8's Trevor Sohaki, who joins us now live outside the jail where Santini is being held right now. Trevor, what did he have to say? Well, Jen, Keith, he wrote that he felt he was being used as a patsy and that things were not as they seem. What we know, Cynthia Wood thought she was going on a date with Santini. She was found later strangled a few days later in a ditch in Riverview. A criminal justice expert I spoke with said he thinks this is all part of Santini's plan to change the public opinion. Before he was extradited to Hillsborough County as part of his arrest for the 1984 murder of Cynthia Wood, Donald Santini sent these letters to me from the San Diego County Jail. He was responding to my request for an interview. In the letters he wrote, quote, I've listened to my wife and granddaughter cry and scream with hurt, feeling that they may never see me again. I can hardly talk without crying. He went on to say, my heart goes out to Cindy's family for all the pain, hurt, and loneliness they must be feeling for 40 years. That letter is the first stage of his attack on the prosecution. Joseph Silla was an assistant professor of criminal justice at St. Leo University. We showed him the letter. That's a letter trying to control how you think and what you think and how you view the case. In his letter, Santini wrote that he feels he's being set up and needs a lawyer. It's about, you don't understand. I'm really a victim here. You really don't understand, I'm not ever going to get a fair trial. Silo said any preserved DNA and fingerprint evidence will be crucial in this case, since witnesses may have forgotten or passed away, like those in a previous story from the News Channel 8 archives. When he talked about violence and crime, he got an actual uh, happy feeling out of it. That includes the woman who found Cynthia's body. I happened to look down, see the feet first, and then just looked up, and you could tell the body was bloated. Despite everything in Santini's letters, Silo said Santini can't change the fact that Cynthia was found strangled to death in a drainage ditch nearly 40 years ago. This is not a man that doesn't have a plan, in my opinion. And the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office said that it found Santini through what it called investigative means. It also said that it had sent investigation requests to California, Texas, even as far away as Thailand. If you'd like to read Santini's full letters to me, we've posted them in our article online at WFLA.com. Jen? Trevor, you've been following Santini's case. You reached out to him initially. What else do we know about him? Well, the Hillsborough County Sheriff said that while he was stationed in Germany, he did serve prison time for a rape that he committed there. They also said that he was wanted for aggravated robbery in Texas, and we also learned through court documents that he has used multiple other aliases in the past. Jen? Trevor Sohaki, live for us in Tampa. Thank you, Trevor.